Oh, he's got to get the diffusal blade. Nix is Oh, okay. Uh, there yeah, it cool. is. All right. It's the one we wanted this morning that we have advantage. Get a good early start, and this could be that key oh, at least win. to start things off. Yeah, cool in the combo. We'll be able to get the flame guard off. Is he actually right alive? Click. Oh, Foxy <laughs> there with that final touch. It's enough to take him down. From. Yeah, some early damage thrown away at Duracho. Try and work through some of his mana. Azai, he'll die for this effort. As uh, Celery uh, mid mids are able to perform, of course, Nisha and Quinn too. It's yep. fantastic mid players to get the, the pleasure of watching Boxy. Gotta be a bit careful here. This is a tough lane for Liquid. I, in fact, Boxy just dead. Celery's able to get one more impetus off. I mean, Zai, he's Zai got no place around here. He's, he's got to back off. I mean, one or two more hits and an impetus. He's going to miss the stun. Having some other issues. <laughs> Around the mid, Boxy. He's coming with the rotation. Looking to help Nisha try and take down Quinn. Try and punish him before he hits the six. They get the drag back with the vortex. Quinn. He's got a few stick charges. He's still got the fairy fire as well. He won't pop it. Accepts his fate. He's done. He's actually able to get the kill. Hey, all right, he's not in trouble at all. In fact, Boxy coming in provides it to Grepify. Mickey. He's pulled over here with the twin gates. They can look to chase down Stella as well. And. and They'll get it. Zai surviving. And we are seeing, of course, these very sort of humorous situations where, you know, once this Medusa's out of mana, pretty much one right click and you're dead. So they're going to try. Okay. Uh, they're not going to lead in onto Ace. They'll just look to clean up his summons. Uh, oh, they'll take Topher instead. Was not expecting Zai to be here. And Mickey gets him. Don't have the tools on Liquid. It depends on how prepared gaming is with like sentries and stuff like that, and around how much they're pushing together. Because Zai, I mean, he can definitely do some insane work, but sure. if they have vision, if they have taps of him right now, Zai is going to continue to thrive. Absolutely sets up it. It is Zai. I mean, it's, it's insane how good of a game he's having. Cannot keep reiterating. Might go down here this time. He's got Quinn. backup coming in. He's getting pumped up. Vanguard, is it enough to save him? And he's got the one charges. It and is. now with the backup. Gotta get out of it, gaming gladiators. And he's just got plenty of mana to play with as he closes in onto Tofu. Oh, that's a big steal for Insania. This Look how much but the right now he is. Be on. Where, where's He's your, gone. Where's your mana? <laughs> where's your mana? It's it's gone. Bottom side, but none up here at the moment. Liquid grouped up, Quinn. Can he strike back? Stun doesn't connect there. And no, they're gonna keep trying to chase. Insania in trouble. They'll get the Rubik. Zai. He's just gonna come in with a counter play. Mike Mickey's here as well. They've got the lockdown onto Quinn. Not enough. Big roar. Thrown down onto Mickey. Gaming Gladiators push forward and take down Sphere. They picked that fight, Liquid. Oh no, they're gonna lose a lot here. Zai as well in trouble. Has he got any way out of this? Another jump forward from Quinn, closing the gap on Zai. He'll turn with the mind flare, but Zai's out of options. Oh, Gaming Gladiators. Man. They'll get the three side of Nisha. He'll be getting that Kaya Sanj after the Witchblade. And even though Duracho, he did dive in funny ways twice, he's completely caught back up. He's slightly behind the Sven, but he's the same as uh, all the other cores in the game. Anticipate that this Roche is happening, and they just saw Duracho in the triangle area. They gotta That's go find too him. Late. It's too late for the Roche, but yeah, but that also running out. Duracho, he's playing safe. This nice spot inside of Liquid's jungle. A difficult area for Liquid to try and fight into. We'll see if they want to. In fact, well, Quinn, he's gonna be the first to jump there. With the slight chains onto the two of them, they're pushing forward. Nisha, he's got to zip away. Xenia. He's going to get left behind. He will start to get healed up in return by Boxy. Jump from Mickey. They're in onto Tofu. But the coddle's gone. Ace will get the roar off onto Mickey. Mickey. Mickey trying to push forward, but he's falling so low here. The impetus damage from Celery. It'll take him out. They lose Mickey. And Quinn, he can maybe look for more of a cleanup. Nisha, very low. Chains is going to be back up in a second for Quinn. He'll look over towards Zai. In with the chains and the remnants. Zai will slowly burn out to the damage of the Ember Spirit. The oh, rest of Liquid, they'll have to bail. Those are having two creeps. Nisha? Don't get the chains opening, but he has the illusion. Zai can't get the carapace. They're gonna look to Quinn, but Quinn's got BKB. Fast reaction. And straight away, the root's gonna be there onto the two of them. Nisha has to zip back up to the high ground. Zai's gonna get blasted back into the river. Zai, he's gone. Quinn. That's one of the positions that Zai maybe can get the angle, though. So have to be a little cautious. I mean, at the same time, it's a risky call to make. Right? If Zai does get in, gets the hit, he's almost certainly going to die because yeah. the rest of Gaming Gladiators will just destroy him. They've got the sentry down already. He's Stop trying to get the, in the back lines. He's going to go for Quinn instead. They focus their efforts on towards the Ember first. He's tanky. But they can't kill him. Quinn's perfectly fine. Derecho is able to pop the Stone Gaze. He's going to be able to freeze the two of them here. Mickey trying to focus towards this Medusa, but outside of the Vendetta hitting the max mana burn that they Mickey. won't be able to get onto him, he's pretty much untouchable. Derecho, he's got plenty of mana to play with. They can't kill this Medusa. 
Medusa. Okay. As Liquid, they'll lose two, they'll lose three. Nisha has to run. Quinn, he's still got a remnant available to chase on for this. And in fact, he could dive for more. He's going to have to change. spike chains combo. Catches Nisha up inside the base. Gaming Gladiators continue the chase down. Nisha, he's out of mana. Not a chance to get back to the fountain. Double kill for Quinn. Four dead on Liquid. Gotta be Catch careful. Him with the chains, I mean, it's He's gonna get blasted Again. in. He's trying to He's hit trying Duraccio, to get that but hit. he can't. He's trying to get that hit off on Duraccio, but he cannot. He's getting healed up by Boxy, but it's not enough. Zai goes down. As Gaming Gladiators uh, force out the fortification here from Liquid. So if they want to continue the push, see a bit of respect here from Duraccio as he backs off momentarily, but still definitely can't. That would have been a bold jump. Chains. Another two hit. Foxy. I mean, there's just well, they how, can do they push, how can they push the Medusa off the barracks? They just can't. Nope. Duraccio, he's him. just stepping in. Boxy, he'll protect himself with the decrepit fight. Ooh. Quinn, he'll go in with the BKB, take out Boxy, make the space here for Duraccio to finish off these mid racks. That's a 12k lead here now for Gaming Gladiators, and Liquid just running out of options completely in terms of how on earth they're going to deal with Duraccio's Medusa. Up this Medusa at this point now. as yes, she has hit her, all her timings. Zai just can't step in. No, I don't think we're going to see Zai get to, nope. to hit this Medusa again this game. GG just doing a great job of setting up in a way that Zai, he just can't get in with the ult. At least we got to see him delete her once or twice. It was funny. But the group up, it's far too strong. They're just taking a second set of racks. Nisha. He's going to look for the jump, they'll go for the back lines. Mickey in as well with the God Strength over towards Ace, but the, the roar's there. Mickey in trouble. Duraccio trying to move in front of him with the Stone Gaze. Mickey turns, ends up getting frozen anyway by the Stone Gaze as Mickey's gone. They got the they've vendetta. Taken hit. out the mana of Duraccio, but matter. they've lost Mickey. They've lost Zai. They've lost Insania, GG. and they've lost the game. GG is called as Gaming Gladiators take this game one, uh, and this match very much uh, uh, an excellent exhibition of why Coddle Medusa it can be pretty strong, Fog. It's Coddle Medusa, but it's also the Coddle with the other two cores. Honestly, it, it felt like the perfect Coddle game. I actually think Liquid did better in the lanes than I'd anticipated. Like Zai that getting his good start. I think Duracho, maybe, you know, playing on these Agi treads and stuff like that while jungling, could, perhaps could have survived if he's on strength treads and some of these, but the game quickly collapsed. Everything came together for the side of gaming and Liquid. Everything just fell apart.